Good morning this morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are having a great morning or a great day, great afternoon, wherever you're at. I'm going to give everybody just a second to come on in over here so we can have a little chat for a minute because y'all being distracted. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Um, okay, so uh, hope you guys are having a good morning. Please comment below where you're watching from um, and please hit that like button. You guys, censorship is real. And the only way that we can break this algorithm with uh, social media and Facebook is you guys got to hit that share button. Please hit that share button and that like button. Please hit that. Good morning, everybody. Please comment below where you're watching from because I need to know what state you're in. I've got some things I need to share with you. If you're in Colorado, if you're in Missouri, you need to listen up this morning. Good morning. Um, good evening in the UK. Hello, Michigan. Hello, Rockford. Hello, hello, Ontario. Um, I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get on. Dawn, good morning this morning. Um, I need, okay, Ohio's here, good. Canada, all right, good, good, good. Missouri, we got some Missouri folks. I need the Missouri people to wake up. There's some very crazy stuff happening here and happening in, well, happening all over the world. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, what did I say from the beginning about this whole thing? Um, I need you guys to hit that share button. You don't want to miss this. Shit, the, your friends have got to hear this. Here's the deal. Since you've been awake, since you've been, since you've been distracted over the last couple of weeks about what's been going on with COVID-19, now what's going on with the protesting and the riots and, uh, you know, the violence and the fear and the hate and, and everything that's happening in the world, I need you to see what's going on behind your back. You're missing it. This is very, very scary. Okay. Number one, um, last Thursday, state of Colorado, uh, their, uh, democratic leadership tried to push through a bill starting to mandate vaccines. I'm going to give you kind of the, list, the gist of it. They literally voted on this on Sunday, on God's day, on the Lord's day, on a day they don't normally do legislation. They did this to try to sneak this in behind the people's backs. Uh, Michael, definitely not more conspiracies. Uh, truth, brother. If you want uh, the truth, this is where you're going to get it. If you want to wake up, wake up. If not, keep your head buried in the sand and good luck with that. Let me know how that works out for you because I'm not going to let this stuff, uh, I'm not going to let my people, Colorado, Stacy, you know, I'm not going to let my people go without an opportunity to know what's going on. So here's something that happened. Stacy in Colorado, the rest of you in Colorado need to hear this. So there was um, an emergency legislation uh, that was put through and they voted on it yesterday. They, uh, on the mandated vaccine and contact tracing program, it passed through the House. It was completely down party lines. All Democrats voted it yes, and all Republicans voted it no. Um, so be aware of that. Your vote is very powerful. If you don't want mandatory medical uh, procedures done on you, um, you better not vote Democrat. I mean, I'm just telling you, this is the truth. It's going down party lines. There's not even anyone having conversations about this. It's just going down party lines. They're following an agenda. Now, listen to me. This is what's happening in Colorado. This is the gist of what, they, what they're saying is they're, it's going to now to the Senate. So it passed down party lines through the House. It's now going to the Senate. And here's the deal. They want to mandate vaccines. They want to take away uh, all your rights. And the only way that you can have a exemption for vaccines or any medical procedure that's heading down that way is for a medical exemption. And doctors are being persecuted for writing medical exemptions. They're being audited at a higher rate. Uh, they're being uh, persecuted at a higher rate. They're being thrown in front of their medical boards uh, because, and they're being scared. Doctors are being feared into not writing, uh, writing uh, exemptions. It's so hard to find a doctor that can do that. Um, because they're scared of losing their license. They're scared of losing their livelihood of being able to provide for their children. I need you to understand this. This is what's happening while you've been distracted. This is what's happening. You guys continue to hit that like button and that share. People need to hear this stuff. And the only way that we're going to be able to beat Facebook from censoring us is to break their algorithm. We have to do this. Now, listen, they're mandating right now. What they're saying is they're mandating this. They're mandating that, that you have to have a shot. They're mandating it not just for school. They're trying to mandate it even for homeschool children. And so then they're also mandating you to try to, to make sure that every vaccine that you've gotten or haven't gotten goes to the state, and they're, they're, which is against the Constitution. That's against your Fourth Amendment right. Um, that is unconstitutional. It doesn't protect your privacy. Your privacy is being stripped from you. This is a contract that we have with our government. That contractual agreement is being stolen from you. Do you understand that? Okay. Now, Bobby Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy um, testified yesterday in front of the, uh, the House of Representatives in Colorado, and he said one very powerful thing, very, very powerful. 
The vaccine manufacturing companies make, they make $50 billion a year from the vaccine. But listen, they make $500 billion a year off the symptoms of the vaccines, including autoimmune diseases, vaccine injured children, all the problems like ear infections, digestive problems, skin issues that are caused by these um, injections. This is the truth. This is a fact. It's been, this is not disputable. This is a fact, you guys. It is a fact. Anyone who tells you the difference is wrong. The devil is a liar. And the biggest, the biggest, biggest lie the devil ever told any of us is that he does not exist. Yes, he does. And they're mandating this for you. Missouri, wake up. I just found out last night in my own backyard, uh, St. Charles County. And I want everyone in Missouri to share this with everyone you know in St. Charles County. This is the county that I live in. The county I live in, which is Republican, right down, it's a Republican red, dead red county. What they're saying is they are, they are having a, a vote tonight. Look, this is, this is an ordinance bill. This is Bill uh, 4852. Let me say that again. Bill 4852 right here. Uh, this is sponsored by Terry Holleran. Look right here. Terry Holleran sponsored this bill. Um, 4852 is the bill. And what they're trying to do, it's an ordinance authorizing the county executive or his a designee to execute a memorandum of understanding between St. Charles County and Missouri Department of Health and, and Senior Services. What they want to do is they want to be able to take anyone who has their vaccines, they want to put them on a, on a, on a state database, and anyone who's not on that state database, they want doctors mandated to report that, they want schools mandated to report that, what they want to do is they want to get, they want to desensitize a Republican area that's, that's against Listen, we want the freedom to choose. We want the freedom to choose. What they want to do is they want to get a Republican area to not, sorry, to be sensitized to, to losing the ability to choose, okay? And once we start losing that ability to choose and we get desensitized to it, when they come back around to the in the fall and they say, we're just going to go ahead and mandate these vaccines and we're going to be in the same boat as some of these other states like Colorado. Colorado, wake up. If this passes, if this passes, if this passes, then that's going to mandate you to get procedures that you don't want. For example, like this COVID-19 vaccine that's going around, the 25% of individuals that had in human trials had to have medical, uh, medical um, response to them getting it because it was so bad for them and so dangerous. You guys, that's going to happen. And if Healthy Human Services says that that's, that should be part of your mandated schedule without a conversation, without a vote, without a dialogue, they can just put that in there as a dictatorship and go, you have to do this. So what do we do? We have to show up. We have to voice our concerns. We have to call our congressmen. We have to call our senators. We have to call our people and go, this is not okay. And here's the deal. You want to know something? Here's the deal. In politics, in politics, it's not right or wrong. You either win or you lose. You either win or you lose. And they play dirty. Colorado played a dirty, dirty trick. They tried to pass this on the first Sunday that churches were allowed to open up again. On the first Sunday, did y'all hear me? Everybody was going to go to church and they didn't go because... Last minute, 12,000 Coloradoans showed up to peacefully protest, to respectfully protest, to have their ver voices heard about what's going on. Now, they may have lost a, a, a battle, but they are not going to lose the war. It's going to go down the same way it went down in New Jersey. Listen, there is greed. This is the spirit of greed. Greed, greed, greed. They're making money off of you. They're mandating us. You guys, this is absolutely, this is absolutely, this thing in Missouri and Colorado is the same way. There is no question this is against their constitutional rights. There's no question. This is this violates the Fourth Amendment, right? It violates the, um, um, the the ability for us to have reasonable privacy. Okay, it violates our privacy. And oh, by the way, in Colorado, if you decide and they pass this, and you decide not to vaccinate your child because you because for whatever reason you wanted to make a decision not to, you've informed yourself. You have your own reasons. My child, my choice. My child, my choice. Somebody write that down right now in the in the um, messages. My child, my choice. Because it is your child, your choice. It is your child, your choice. It is our constitutional right for us to decide what we want to do. We have the right. All of us have the right to life. All of us have the right to liberty. All of us have the right to pursuit of happiness, including our health and our businesses. It's our right. It's our right. We have to wake up and see this, you guys. 
It's unconstitutional and infringes upon our privacy rights. And I'm telling you what's happening because in Colorado, in California, in New York, these bills were helped or, and or written by, by pharmaceutical lobbyists like GlaxoCleinSmith and these other ones. I'm going to find out. Terry, hey, Terry. Terry, if you're listening, if anybody could tag Terry Holland, H-O-L-L-A-N-D-E-R, Hollander, Terry Hollander, I'm going to say it right here. Look, it's right here, Terry Hollander. This is uh, bill number 4852. Um, this is a bill that's, that's being, um, that's being uh, proposed, being voted on tonight, and it's going to be voted on straight down party lines. I promise. My child, my choice. My child, my choice. Whatever happened to my body, my choice. You guys, this is ridiculous. So they're voting on this tonight. And by the way, just like in Colorado, if you say no to this, if you say no, they make you. This goes all the way to Health and Family Services. It goes to the Department of of DCFS. And they're going to come to your home. They're going to call you and they're going to say, you're a bad parent. I have a two-hour re-educational video that you have to watch. It's going to be mandated by the state for you to watch this. It's all one-sided. It's going to show death, destruction, disease. It's going to show all this stuff, all this death, destruction, and disease that's happening because of unvaccinated people. That is a lie. That is not true. That is not true. And these men and women that are making these decisions for us, that are voting, these councilmen and these state representatives and senators don't have both sides of the story. They're being told by their lobbyists one way, one way. Now, I don't care what you do. If you want to vaccinate, you can do that. But I want to be able to choose for my family and my children what to do. This is still America. Don't you think we should be able to choose that? Listen, there's no research that shows that there's ever been a vaccine for a virus, flu, cold, etc., a SARS virus that has worked. Why? Because it's an RNA virus. It works differently. But yet we're not having conversations and discussions about this. This is not okay. This is not okay. It's my child, my choice. That is the deal that you guys need to understand. This is a HIPAA violation. They want to report all this stuff to the states. They want to report all this stuff to the to, to all the people so that they can come upon you. And listen to this. Listen to this. There's one more thing. I want you to say this, right? I want you to see this right here. This is a big deal. One of the one of the um, uh, one of the points on this bill for Missouri says um, we're going to assure that state electronic immunization data is use is only used. Um, update to update clients' records of internal and to the participant. Data shall not be used for marketing or purposes other than those the data were collected for without written permission from the client or clients. Read the fine print. When you sign that paperwork, they're going to use your name, your information, your email to market you, to scare you, to solicit you, to to show propaganda at you so that you get more vaccines. There's money in the vaccines for the governments, you guys. The governments of the United States are are, are the backers of it. Like our governments are the insurance companies for um, the vaccine manufacturers. You know, when a drug gets made, uh, it gets it gets a um, it gets insurance on it, right? So, like, I have a nutritional supplement right here. In order to have this nutritional supplement go out, it has to be insured. There's insurance that goes with it. If you don't have insurance that goes with it, if somebody gets hurt, they get sued, they can take you out. Well, drugs and supplements and all this stuff have they have insurance for that. Well, guess what? Doesn't have insurance vaccines are not mandated to get insurance from Lloyd's of London or all these other places. They had to get it from the federal government because Lloyd's of London and these other places said, this is not okay. This is not safe. This is not effective. This is going to hurt people. And we are not going to be financially responsible for the illnesses and injuries that you cause. Most people don't know that there's a separate vaccine court that over $4 trillion has been paid out since 1980. People don't understand that. Okay. This is our freedoms. Our freedoms are being taken away from us. Our privacy is being taken away from us. We have a contract with our government. We have a contract and our contract is being violated and people are just doing things because they feel like they need to be doing things. You guys, there are many, 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 many lies that are being told right now. And, and you're not listening to them. You're not hearing them because, because people, because you're being distracted by what's happening in the world. This is all distracting. This is all sleight of hand. This is all crap that's happening to just pass things behind your back. Like, look, Forbes magazine just came out just yesterday and said, 
Norway scientist claims that he can prove that coronavirus was made in a lab. They can prove that. They said that there's no way that this virus was ever of, of natural orient. There's no way. The study from, the, the guy's name is, is uh, uh, Sovereign Son uh, and other British professor Angus Dalwing um, shows that coronavirus spike, spike proteins contain sequences that appear to be artificially inserted. These are what scientists are saying. This is not just Dr. Eric. People need to wake up and see what's going on. They created a problem. Now they're trying to create a solution for the problem they created in the first place. Do you all see that the fox is guarding the hen house? Can you see that? My child, my choice. My child, my choice. My body, my choice. You guys, if, and listen, it's not just about the vaccines. It's about, it's about all medical things. If, if a vaccine gets mandated, then what's going to be next? Did you know that there's over 200, there's over 200 adult vaccines in the pipeline that they're trying to market to you that they want to, because that's the new thing. Drugs are going to go away because they can't make enough money off drugs. Drugs are going to go away because there's too much liability in drugs. The, the manufacturers lose billions of dollars a year because of the drugs, because of people suing them, and rightfully so because of the side effects and consequences of the medications, and rightfully so. But the problem is this, is that most people don't know that this is happening, so they can't make an informed decision. You guys, my child, my choice. This is not okay. Our freedoms are at risk. Our liberties are at risk. This is a big, big problem. If you guys look at the research that was put out by Stanford professor, Dr. Ioannidis, he says that the fatality rate is between 0.02% and 0.4%, which is either seven times less uh, or 2.8 times greater than the flu. You guys, why are we arguing over this? My child, my choice. My body, my choice. This is evil. We're losing our freedoms. We're losing our liberties. And we're just mindfully, we're not even mindfully, sorry, we're unconsciously going through with this and we don't even realize it. I need you all to share. I need you guys all to hit that share button. I need you guys all to join the movement below at ericnaputi.com. My child, my choice. I'm going tonight to the St. Charles County meeting and I'm going to be meeting with some of our councilmen and speaking there. I only get three minutes but they're trying to push this through without us having a conversation about it, without the power of the people having a conversation about it. They're pushing this through. This is unconstitutional, unconstitutional. And here's how we win. Here's how we win in politics. You guys, you got to understand this. We got to understand this. There's only two things politicians care about. One, number one is money, and number two is getting reelected because money helps them get reelected, which helps them feed their power and helps them feed their purpose. I need to help break this Facebook algorithm that they're suppressing our information. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that share button. You got to go after this and go do a watch party. The only way that we're going to be able to have people to hear this message, to hear the truth and wake up is for you to do your part. If you don't do your part, there's no way in hell that we're ever going to be able to get this information out. And anybody, men, women, you guys, go tonight, tonight, go tonight. It starts at 7 o'clock. If you want to speak, be there by 6. Um, it's at the municipal building off Teton, uh, a, a Great Teton, I think is where it's at, in St. Peter's. We'll get the... We'll get the um, We'll get the address and put it in the, in the uh, feed below. But if you want to come and you want to speak and you want to voice your, your concerns and you're a St. Charles co County resident like I am, get there. I had no idea this was going on. No idea this was going on. My child, my choice. My child, my choice. My child, my choice. You guys, Dr. Ioannidis says that the, the uh, COVID-19 is only going to affect 33% of the population. So we may have already actually hit um, or close to hitting herd immunity because you guys, how many hundreds of thousands of people are being exposed and maybe even millions being exposed now because of all the riots and protesting that are happening and all the weekend events and the Lake of the Ozarks and all this kind of stuff. 500,000 people were at the Lake of the Ozarks two weeks ago as of yesterday and there was only one person, one person that tested positive COVID-19 and the reports are that they had it prior to that. You guys, we are in the fight right now. The storm is upon us. And if we don't step up and step out and let our voices be heard, it's going to be the end of it. It is my child, my choice. It is our choice. We get to choose freedom, freedom to choose. That's what we need. We have to, we have to, we have to. Listen, some of you that are saying, come up with a different Come up with a different term than my child, my choice, or my body, my choice? No, because it's the same term that they already use for abortions, that they already use for, for everything else. You guys, that is great because 
Or what are they going to use? Are they going to have a double standard? If it's if it's my child, my choice for vaccines. If it's my child, my choice for abortions. My body, my choice for all that stuff. Listen, we cannot have a double standard. There cannot be a double standard. The spirit of greed, the spirit of fear, and the spirit of hate is upon us. And we have got to step up and do something. We have got to step up and do something right now. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Please share, 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 and hit that like button. People need to see this stuff. There's more. I'm going to come to you over lunch today. I promise. I promise. I'm going to come to you over lunch today and share some more stuff with you. Please keep your phones with you. Hit that notification button so that you guys can be notified whenever we go live on what's going on. Um, Because if we don't do something, who's going to? And if not now, when? Please Hit that link below. Share, 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 and join the movement. I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Be blessed. God bless America.